Let's try and at least finish it, but it didn't happen. What did I? How did I miss that when well, she's on the ground? This motherfucker don't miss, dude. One bullet. Oh! Dude! Some dog absolute shit. What the? Okay. She's on bombsite. I like she ran back. Like that way. It sounded like oh, it, yeah. There she is. Yep. There you go. Enemies have been wiped out. Where is she? What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some Dima gameplay and today we are going to be talking about Ranked Strikeout finally being added into Rogue Company. So let's head over and check it out. So as you can see here from the Daybreak PTS update notes and this is one of the Project Saint improvements and features that is going to be added in the next update. So Ranked Strikeout. To further expand the Ranked experience for our players as an experiment, we are introducing a separate Ranked queue for Strikeout. Strikeout has shown to be a very popular game mode and for a good while there wasn't a place that the Strikeout diehards could graduate to and have a place in the competitive environment. In this update, please try out the Ranked experience for Strikeout out, complete with draft pick rogue select improvements that we detailed above let us know what you think so many of you that are regulars to the channel many of the people that come back and watch videos know exactly how i feel about rank strikeout i am not particularly a very big fan of rank strikeout i think rank strikeout is going to be very much the same situation that the ranked king of the hill situation was where there were people that really liked it there were people that really didn't like it then there were also people that actually dropped into the game and thought that they were going to have an incredible experience in this ranked king of the hills environment and and they just realized that they're just not up to snuff with some of the tryhards that are actually going to be competing in ranked um, and I feel like, you know, Ranked Strikeout is going to be very much a similar situation in that regards. I feel like there's a ton of people that are very excited about Ranked Strikeout that once they get into Ranked Strikeout, they're going to realize very, very quickly how painful Ranked Strikeout is actually going to be. But the reason that I wanted to cover this really doesn't have anything to do with the fact that Ranked Strikeout is coming into the game. What it really has to do with is the implications that Ranked Strikeout is actually bringing into the game. So there's a couple of topics that I wanted to hit on here. First of all, Pretty Harris said that they're trying to develop a queuing system to where it lumps like all the respawn game modes into one playlist. It lumps all the single life game modes into one playlist. And then you have the ability to vote. So you either like vote on what map and what game mode that you actually want to play. And I can see that working very, very well for casual game modes. But I also see this as something that could potentially be brought over from those casual game modes into ranked. Because if you lump in let's say strikeout and king of the hill as one queuable ranked mode uh i could see that being very successful i think that there would be a ton of people that would actually gravitate towards that if you lumped in demolition extraction uh and possibly some other game mode other than um battle zone i think that that would be a very interesting and a very fun queue specifically for the single life mode ranked experience so i think that they're kind of working their way into that experience slowly but surely and i think that that this leads to larger implications for that. I think that, of course, it needs to be implemented into the casual game modes first. See how casuals run with that system implemented into it, because, of course, they're going to have to work out any bugs or kinks with it. But I do think that that is a pretty good idea that the developers have there, and I'm very excited to see how that's implemented into the game. The second and major reason that I actually wanted to bring this up was people want more ranked rewards, right? There's really no reason to get into ranked and grind ranked. And it has been noted on several occasions where the developers have said that ranked is like consistently one of the lowest queuable modes that they actually have. It has the smaller player pool. It has a smaller player base. That's why they wanted to introduce the crossplay thing, which they never really introduced that we're aware of. I mean, it may be in the game right now. We just might not know about it. But that's one reason why that they wanted to introduce the crossplay functionality. And I get it. You want to broaden that player pool as much as humanly possible. 
Um, but I think that this would lead to, if you have strikeout being your most successful mode, and it's been the most successful mode since launch, and then you're introducing ranked strikeout, then a lot of those players that want to play that ranked strikeout experience are going to gravitate over to that, which is good because that's going to increase the numbers of the people that are actually playing ranked as a whole, since they're keeping everything as one rank. So it doesn't matter if you queue in demo, it doesn't matter if you queue in strikeout, it's going to be two, two queuable modes but it's going to be one rank that you're actually going to achieve. I think that lends enough credence to the fact that like they're trying to pull more people into ranked so that they can justify the fact that they want to do more ranked rewards for players. They just don't have enough people playing ranked, and that's just the reality of the situation. And I really hope that that is something that actually happens because, I mean, you have people that are diehard ranked players. You have people that are diehard casual players. You have people that kind of float somewhere in that middle where they, they queue in ranked occasionally. They queue in public matches occasionally. They just kind of do their own thing depending on how they feel and how the game's running. And I get that, and I respect that but there's no real reason to actually jump into ranked and grind it out i've saw on several occasions that most people are like if you want to get rogue rank and rogue company all you have to do is put the time in to be able to actually achieve that rogue rank i know that there's a couple of issues with how the rp is being awarded and taken away from specific players in general and i know that they're trying to do everything that they can to address that hopefully before strikeout gets introduced if they're expecting strikeout to kind of blow up as a ranked queue they'll get that straightened out a little bit sooner rather than later because right now you see it from a couple of people occasionally but it's not a, it's not a, the loudest squeaky wheel at the at this particular moment so let me know what you think of the implications of rank strikeout. Like rank strikeout is what it is. I don't like strikeout. I don't think it's a good idea to have something like that be a competitive mode. But all those feelings and thoughts aside, I think that this is going to be very good for the game. I think that if they're able to pull some of that player base specifically from strikeout into ranked, that's going to give them a way larger platform in order to be like, okay, we can actually start creating rewards specific for the ranked experience to give back to those players that actually want that. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that join button down below and become one of the 256 crew members. Also, on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. and Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you're interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys. She's on mom's side. I like she ran back. Like that way. It sounded like oh, it. Yep. She is. There she is. Yep. There you go. Enemies have been wiped out. Where is she? That shot's pretty nutty, man. Oh, they're over here on B's. Got her. I'm getting pushed. Dude, the fucking goddamn hit markers in this game is stupid as fuck. How can it be 81, 10 meters your away, and then 20 right on their face? They're moving this way towards bomb. Oh, somebody's going behind, I think. Mm -hmm. It sounded like she bolted that wall, honestly. Yeah, somebody's back here. The other one's nearby, too. <laughs> oh, she's a bullet! Not anymore. Got the bomb. Behind that thing. All enemies have been eliminated. He's like, fuck that, I'm gonna get right between them. A side, A side. Oh god, I'm dead. It's all of them. I'm flashed. Another one hopping. Two hopping. Oh, he's one shot right here. Literally a bullet. You can spit on her. Oh, 
Alex She's goes, healing right away. now. There it is. In the bag. I've got an idea for our next guys. Why? Mm -hmm. I was gonna come revive you, but you know. So you thought putting bullets in my brain was better? Well, if I can't heal you, I might as well make Pretty you better. Yeah. Desecrate and a holiday. Ruin my body. <laughs> it's not a holiday. My face is ruined. <laughs> 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 that bullshit that they were doing at the beginning backfired it's on me. It's amazing, real fucking man. Quick. How, especially like when you side swap, and it's like, oh, yeah, you got a plant now. Yeah, good luck. <laughs>